The Kia Nero has a clever hybrid system to help save fuel, but it doesn't have wacky styling to shout about it like some other eco-friendly cars. On the inside, the Nero looks pretty much like any other Kia actually, with only the instrument panel giving the game away of its hybrid technology. There's a traditional speedo on the right, but on the left is a power usage gauge, which shows when you're using the electric motors or the petrol engine, and when you're topping up the battery. These dials are split by a 4.2 inch digital display that lets the driver scroll through a range of hybrid functions. Build quality is pretty solid overall. It doesn't feel quite as posh inside as a Volkswagen Tiguan, but it's still above average. Equipment levels are among the best in the class. Even the entry level 2 model gets part leather seats and a 7 inch touchscreen with digital radio, Bluetooth, Android Auto, and Apple CarPlay. Pay an extra 2 grand for the 3 trim, and there's 18 inch alloy wheels, full leather, electrically adjustable seats, and a JBL stereo. The top spec 4 model comes with bi xenon lights, keyless entry, cooled front seats, and heated rear seats. These 4 models, as well as the lower 3, also get an upgraded 8 inch touchscreen. The graphics aren't too fancy, but everything is very clear and well laid out. The touchscreen is responsive, and there's physical shortcut buttons for the main functions. The homepage splits the screen in two, with menu options on the right and the navigation screen on the left. The nav system itself is nice to use, and it's fairly easy to plot a route. Loading times are okay, but not quite as fast as the systems you'll find in Volkswagens and Skodas. Adding a diversion like a petrol station is fairly straightforward, but it takes quite a few button presses to confirm any route. If you'd rather trust the navigation software of your phone, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto can let you do just that. Unlike Kia's own system, Android Auto lets you pinch and swipe across the mapping screen, and live traffic updates can help you avoid the worst jams. You can always use these systems to stream your music collection at the same time, because it sounds better than through Bluetooth. The uprated JBL sound system is punchy, but depending on your music tastes, the bass might be a little bit too heavy-handed for some. Overall then, the Kia Nero might not have the fanciest infotainment system on the market, but it's easy to use, and those generous equipment levels mean that it's great value for money. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and share it, and click on our logo to subscribe to our channel. Also, click on the video windows for more CarWow videos.